Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your November 2019 prediction. So I'm going to be doing three spreads throughout the course of this entire reading. I'm going to do 12 cards for love, I'm going to do a 12 card spread also for career, and then I'm going to do 12 cards overall general. So we're going to do three spreads and I hope you're doing well today. I actually, you know, when I think of Aquarius, I always think of the star, you know, the star card, which is essentially what Aquarius rules. And so, you know, I thought of this beautiful blue crystal. I thought the stars just really went very well with it. And I hope you enjoy the aesthetic of this. I'm using the Kawaii Tarot for your reading today. And um, I also do want to mention if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I'm also running a giveaway on this channel. So this is OMG Tarot. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Join our little family. There are going to be many more videos coming on this channel, including some very special pick a card readings as well. Um, so do keep a little watch out for that. And also I do want to mention if you'd like to purchase a private paid reading with me, information will be down below. I also want to mention as well that if you would um, like to purchase any of my bracelets, they will be on Etsy. So a link will be down below to those spiritually charged, handmade intention bracelets. So I'm wearing the wealth one today. And yeah, link will be down below. So this crystal, oh my gosh, it gives me life. All right, so Aquarius, let's first of all start with love. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave the crystal a little bit far backwards so that I can do the spread in front. So let's have a look and see what is coming through in regards to love for you, Aquarius, in November of 2019. Okay, got a lot of cards. I don't know why it sounded like an owl or something. I was like, ooh. We have strength. We have the world. We have judgment. We have ace of cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Hermit, King of Cups. We also have the Three of Swords, which, you know, is, is quite a sad card actually to have, but when you look at all these other cards, right, when you look at all of those, there's something really beautiful and uplifting about those cards. So for example, with strength, this is about you in regards to love feeling really, really confident. Now we do have three of pentacles, which is to do with teamwork and collaboration, but I do feel that there's something that's going to hurt you. There's some form of hurt that I'm seeing in regards to love, and this hurt is mainly to do with words. I feel that it's to do with someone that may say something to you or perhaps a person that you're involved with that says something to you but what I do see is that they don't mean it because there is love that is present here there's also a decision as well which shows with a judgment card that they are going to verbally um, tell you something right and with this hurt you know there can be a bit of distance space and time uh, but what I am seeing also with this knight of cups is that this person doesn't mean it so there is definitely someone here that says something to you, but I don't feel like they 100% mean it. So just take it with a pinch of salt. That's what I'm seeing, a grain of salt. No, pinch of salt, definitely a pinch of salt. So that's what I'm seeing there. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut the deck and take a card out. So now if you're single, Okay, this is really showcasing that there can be someone that comes in, you know, they may come in and may not say something, you know, nice, and they may not treat you exactly in the way that you want them to treat you in, but I do feel that they don't mean that. If you're with someone, uh, or in, if you're in a situation ship or something like that, you know, it could be that this person says something to you that isn't exactly the nicest thing in the world, but they resolve things with you, with the judgment card, with the world card, they make things come together again, they try to cause this sense of completion between the two of you, so the connection gets stronger. There may be, again, some distant space and time here, but also with the Three of Pentacles, it's about making things work, it's about teamwork and collaboration, allowing things to fulfill and get stronger. 
We also have the Queen of Swords, which is about, you know, you having boundaries. And again, I think something has been said here. That's the main thing that's coming through. Is that there's almost this feeling of something being said, which causes this hurt inside of you. But there also is a resolution that we're seeing because we do have the King of Cups. So there is some emotional peace that takes place. We also have the King of Wands, which is about a lot of communication. And I do also see with this Queen of Pentacles, it's about you feeling much, much stronger again. Now, do bear in mind that we do have a Mercury retrograde in November. So words and phrases can get thrown around a lot. And, you know, you may take it in a, um, a harsh way. Just know that some of these things are not... Um, they're not meant to be said like that. So, um, you know, of course we all take things differently, but I do feel that this person doesn't mean it. So it's almost like they've said it and maybe you just have taken it in a, in a, you know, in a negative way, but you know, that's fine. That's how it is. But at the same time, they don't mean it. So again, with Mercury retrograde, you know, when Mercury is <laughs> spinning backwards, essentially, it affects communication, travel and technology. So with communication, the wrong things could be said, causes hurt, things like that. Um, or it could be, you know, that there are messages that get sent or something like that along the lines of that. Um, it could also be, you know, that you send the wrong thing to the wrong person. Again, with travel and um, technology, it can mean that, you know, things are not working out in the best way possible. Like, for example, your Wi-Fi might cut in and out, may not work 100% like how you want it to. You know, things like that can really happen during the course of a retrograde. So it's very, very important that, um, you know, you just try and stay in a very calm sense of mind. Now that you see the Three of Swords, you might actually see everything in November with a different perspective. And because of that, you could actually not you know, not have this Three of Swords in in a way because you might feel like, okay, well, they said that, but they probably don't mean it. And then you can actually avoid the distant space and time as well. But for a lot of you, what I am seeing is that there will be something that's said that I feel will hurt you. And that will, you know, put a bit of distant space and time between you and this person. Um, but you will be able to resolve things because there's a resolution with the Three of Pentacles that is really coming through. There's also a strength card, there's judgment, there's the world, there's the ace of cups, king of cups, queen of pentacles, and the king of wands. And when you have these two kings and you have these two queens, it is a, you know, a resolution, making things work. So that's what I'm seeing there, especially with the knight of cups, you know, this helpful kind of emotional apology that can also come with it. All right, so Aquarius, that is what I'm seeing in regards to love. Now we are going to move on to Korea. Let's have a look, see what's coming for you in regards to your career, see what is progressing, what is flourishing, what is nourishing, it doesn't make any sense. All right, let's have a look, career, career, career. All right, let's see, career-wise, what's coming for you? Okay, five of pentacles, eight of wands. We've also got the ten of wands as well. So if there is something here that's making you not feel great because the five of pentacles is about feeling left out in the cold, it's about feeling lonely, it's about not quite having what you want. The ten of wands is about burden. You know, it's like a burdening situation. It's not where you want to be right now. Just know that in November, because we do also have Sagittarius season, we also have the Uranus retrograde, and we have the Neptune retrograde as well for a little bit of no November. But of course, that Neptune retrograde does also end. Just know that there is progression that I'm seeing here. There are things that you can change and you can shift. Make sure you think about what you are passionate about and progress towards that passion with this sun card. So the Empress is all about love. You know, Empress is ruled by Venus, which is the planet of love. You know, I want you to know that whatever you choose to do in regards to your work and your kind of whatever brings in your finances, essentially, that you are someone that would be much more successful at bringing a lot of that in if you did what you love. So if you're not already doing what you love, think about, you know, things that make you feel happy and try and progress towards that love. Look at that eight of wands, right? It's got hearts all over it. This is all to do with love. I mean, look at the connection between these cards. We also have the sun, which is just showing um, opportunities, it's showing positivity, progress, right? This is about putting that burden to an end. With an end comes a new beginning, and that is the beauty of 
endings is that there is a new beginning and it's how we decide to take that. Page of Pentacles shows opportunity. So if you did choose to apply for, you know, different roles or if you chose to move careers or industries or you decide to set something up yourself, um, progress to, towards your own venture, your own goal, it can be a really good time to do so. Just be careful of the Mercury retrograde, work with the energy of the retrograde, not against it, and you will be fine. It's not the most advisable thing to start new things when a retrograde does happen, but what I will say is that when you have the information of, you know, check before you travel because there can be delays, you know, or things to do with travel that can be delayed, you know, make sure you check emails and messages um, before you send them because you might end up sending it to the wrong person, you know, things like Wi-Fi and you know, you might find your oven doesn't want to work, things like that. Once you know all of those things, you can kind of work your way around them. You know, it's not the most advisable thing to start, but what I am seeing is that for you, it is advisable to take steps towards this. I'm seeing opportunities arising. I'm seeing things progressing. You know, it's not like suddenly overnight, you're going to have a business set up and running. This is going to take a bit of time. It's going to take a bit of thinking about. So at least throughout the course of November, you can think about it, you can take steps towards it, you can start. And then by the time you've really got around to, you know, shifting or, you know, starting a new job, things like that, we're progressing a little bit out of the retrograde. So that is what we have there. So again, it's a really good time to progress towards your goals and to shift towards things that you absolutely love. Your three of wands is also about being patient. So, you know, be patient with yourself. Try not to rush things too much. Um, you know, I know I have a bit of a contradicting kind of energy with, you know, definitely go towards your passions and I'm like, okay, well, it's not advisable to start a new business, but then I'm like, you know, you should definitely do that. It really just does depend on your drive and your motivation. The important thing is not to give up. If you are wanting to set something up, please do not give up in the middle of a retrograde because you're giving into the retrograde. So that's definitely something very important. Six of Wands here, right, shows the fruits of your labor, should I say the lollipops of your labor, because the six of wands is about potential progress and it is about success. You can have these things so long as you venture towards them. If you're sitting stagnant and you're not so sure about things, then you know you have to open your heart and your mind up to possibilities and knowledge. Hierophant is all about knowledge, but it is also about research, you know, research things, look into things, look at what makes you feel good. The Hierophant is also about stability, security and commitment. I know that this is something you want. You want to feel committed to what you do. You want to love what you do. You want to feel stable as well, right? You want this to give you something back. So it's about adapting that approach, like how the Hierophant would with that Taurus energy and doing a lot of research, you know, building your knowledge, building your experience as well. That's a very, very strong thing to do. And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a very strong opportunity on the horizon here, but you will have to look for that opportunity. That's what the cards are showing. So I'm just going to cut and take one card. I'm going to cut and take another card. So we do have the moon here. We have the moon and the sun. So in November, when we do have the full moon, it's really great for you to use the law of attraction, to do affirmations, to set some intentions towards your future goals, your, you know, your dreams, because I'm really seeing that things can really kick off in a very nice way. Of course, you do have to work towards those goals and those dreams, but I am also seeing that it's a really good thing to work your way towards those things because it's very, very positive in that manner. We also have the Queen of Wands and this Queen of Wands is really, really beautiful because it shows there are so many potential things that you could be doing. There's also this idea of you having lots of creativity, you know, especially during Sagittarius season, you might even feel like you want to go to travel or something like that. What I am also seeing with the moon as well is that with the Neptune retrograde ending as well, you will feel so much more spiritually enlightened. And so you will also think about yourself as well in the process, which I think is obviously very, very important. All right, so that is what we have for career and money. Essentially, you know, your money situation improves with what it is that you're doing in regards to your passion, and then it gets stronger. So that's what I'm seeing is that you're working essentially towards that, especially in November. Okay, so now we're on the general portion of this reading. So I'm just going to take away all of these cards. <coughs> oh, I do apologize for me coughing, but um, cough, 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 cough. 
Okay, let us shuffle and let's go on to the general portion of this reading. Let's have a look what is coming through, what is going on, what we what we got. What we got, we have the Page of Pentacles. How exciting. You're probably like, really? Is that exciting? It is, because the page is here again, and it really does show that you have a opportunity on the horizon. And also with this Four of Pentacles, if you're feeling a little bit stuck, you gotta look out for those opportunities, keep your eyes peeled. Queen of Pentacles here shows that there can be a lot of stability and good money also in your life but you've also got to find those opportunities the moon card also shows you know there's this feeling in November that you will feel so much strongly connected to yourself you will feel confident within yourself you'll feel good within yourself and all of the things that you choose to go towards and do the fall here is really showing a strong amount of I mean this is really beautiful because it's showing a strong amount of you know you just feeling so um, adventurous and feeling like you can take a risk and feeling good. Of course, be careful, we do have a Mercury retrograde, but again, this can be a really nice thing, you know. Mercury retrograde, I feel, makes people also quite serious. Once they know the retrograde is coming, they, they start to think quite negatively and they think, oh, like this could happen, that could happen. It could happen, but it could also not happen, you know. So I'm just telling you, be aware of what could happen, but at the same time, don't um, close yourself off to opportunities. Like I mentioned in regards to setting up your business, you still can do that, you know, if you wanted to set up a business or you wanted to go towards a specific career path, you wanted to change jobs, you wanted to do something else, you still can do it, just be aware that we do have a retrograde. We also have some love really peeking through throughout the course of this reading, as we already saw as well. You know, the fall is really about you growing and getting stronger and also becoming um, just a much better version of yourself. That's what's coming through. We have the Queen of Cups again. We have the Ace of Swords. It really does show that November is going to bring a lot of communication. It's going to bring a lot of clarity. You're going to really feel like you trust yourself as well. Now, we also have that Queen of Cups. So emotionally, you're going to feel much more connected to yourself and your intuition. Follow your intuition follow your inner guidance, very, very important. We have here opportunities manifesting. We also have a lot of creativity coming through with the Page of Wands, which of course is very positive. We also have here the Hierophant. So again, do some research, you know, build up your knowledge, try and learn new things. This can be really, really positive for you in November. We have the Hermit. You know, I do feel that you will take some time and space for yourself. Of course, the Hermit did come through in regards to the love situation as well, you know, distance based time. I do feel that you will take some rest and retreat time for yourself, which of course is very, very positive. It's a lovely and very, very good thing for you to do because the Hermit really does show, you know, the sense of just stillness and calmness and feeling good within yourself. The Emperor here is about taking action and really progressing towards things and, and feeling good, you know, feeling enlightened um, in that direction. So that is what I'm seeing with the Emperor. You know, it's a really lovely feeling of feeling strong and feeling um, just good, you know, where you can take action towards your goals and your dreams. So that is what we have got going on here, Aquarius, for your reading. You know, I really, really um, would love to know how this resonates with your situation for November and also um, do let me know in the comment section below. So if you like this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for all of the support on this channel. I also have another channel as well which is called Moonlight Guidance so if you have not visited that channel, please do so. Um, and I do also want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I'm also running a giveaway on this channel. And there's not as many people watching the videos on this channel, which means that you do have a higher chance of winning a reading. Um, which is, I guess, kind of like a hidden a hidden thing, right? So um, do make sure you enter. It's very, very simple. All the information is in the description box below, as well as information for private paid readings, if you would like to win a private paid reading. And of course, my bracelets are on Etsy as well. Thank you for so much of the support that I have received. It means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, Aquarius, you know, I hope you have a lovely... 
uh, November. I hope you have just in general a lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this. I hope to see you very very soon and I hope that you really take a lot of care of yourself and yeah see you soon hopefully. Bye Aquarius.